How did we avoid a burning to a crisp during our vacation in Puerto Rico? Funny story, we were at the beach the other day in Puerto Rico and this very sunburned woman came over to our family and said, I'm sorry, what are you guys using as a sunblock? Because look at us, we have blisters all over and we were just walking in old San Juan and I bought this uh, mineral sunblock and it's not working and it's clearly not for us. They were from Minnesota, we're from Chicago. You're a different kind of pale. What works for you in Minnesota and Chicago is not going to work in the Caribbean sun. Trust me. I brought roommates here who would burn, who would tan in Rhode Island or New Jersey. And when they would get here, they ended up with sun blisters, right? So we, for some reason, have found a way to protect ourselves. And I wanted to share it with you today. There are a few secrets besides sunblock that we have learned throughout the years. I grew up here. I've always been this pale. You see all of this? These are all freckles. I have them all over because just like you, I used the baby oil. I used the carrot oil. I used the band de soleil, all the oils to burn. And I really, really damaged my skin. Do you remember doing that? My daughter asked me the other day, what's the difference between suntan lotion and sunblock? I said, suntan lotion is all we knew. What did you do to get that brownish golden color that so many people are fortunate to have and we have to get it sprayed on? Leave it in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so th these are the products that we use. Let's start with products. A dermatologist recommended this. I use it in spray in Chicago. Here I used it as lotion. This saved my life. Listen, I was worried. We went to a beach on Sunday that had no shade in Arecibo. It was gorgeous, but we were there from one to four o'clock, peak hours. We wore this, except for one of my husband's feet. He, we were fine. We wore this and I wore it and I was perfectly fine. Look, still pasty white legs, okay. The next one, my husband swears by this one. This is Anthelios 60 by La Roche, La Roche Pose or something like that, 60. You can buy this in the drugstore, you can buy this at Target, you can buy it on Amazon. We'll leave the information there for this one and this one. Mine is Elta MD. From Elta MD, I also use the face sunblock. And this is F SPF 46. And um, I like this, it smells good, it smells like sunblock. This smell, I don't like as much. I like this better as a spray, but I'm telling you, we're all still our lovely Midwest white with a hint of something. I think we don't look like corpses now, we look like uh, humans with a pulse. My kids, also mineral. Kids mineral from Banana Boat, that means it has zinc. Zinc has been amazing for my son. El Metiche has these little freckles because of a sunburn he had here many years ago. This is great, and I found this roll-on. Um, I don't think this one has zinc, but I kept applying this constantly all over him on his face, back, ears. This was great for them too. Things that are not products that you should be doing buy those rash guards i know you think you're gonna look ridiculous all of us growing up on the island years ago would have never worn that you need those sun shirts and get them to protect you long sleeve short sleeve and whatever is not cover covered then lather up with this okay hats super important my poor daughter has burned her scalp twice just because you would wear she wore pigtails she burned her scalp hats are super super important to wear also my brother and sister-in-law that sunday that i told you that we were at a uh, place that were um was had no shade my sister-in-law has an umbrella umbrellas are key are you doing okay me Mi hermano sabe poner una sombrilla playa. Yesterday, we went to the beach from noon to four o'clock. 
I rented an umbrella because we weren't here long enough. I rented an umbrella and it was a lifesaver. So if you have to come at high noon, which I don't recommend, make sure you bring an umbrella. We paid for this one because, you know, we're here for a few days, but hide on under it for as long as you can. We all came back except for my husband who has his watch, you know, like the, the mark of his watch. He's gonna show you right now because that was, there it is, there it is, poor man. Besides that, he's perfectly fine. Constantly wearing hats too. And the other thing, and I know this is a pain because you wanna be out on the pool the entire time, out at the beach from sun up to sundown. Avoid the peak hours. Avoid the peak hours. I would say in the Caribbean, I know it's awful. Obviously from 12 to two, awful. 11 to three would be the safest if you are as pale as we are, okay? Um, I don't mean don't go out. I mean, pick other things that are indoors, that are in the shade, hide in the shade and protect, protect yourself. And every time you swim, come out and reapply. You're gonna say, wow, but you left and it doesn't look like you were in Puerto Rico. Yeah, but you know how much a sunburn hurts? Oh, and how long it takes to heal. And of course, the risk of skin cancer. Don't believe that the sun we have in Chicago, in the Midwest, in Florida, is the same strength as the Caribbean sun. It is not. You have to be more prepared here. And if you burn and you need some relief, believe it or not, vinegar is amazing. With a cotton ball, you put it on the spot that you burn. And all the after sun care stuff that's out there has worked perfectly for us. Yep, unfortunately we have a lot of experience. And aloe vera, of course, put it in the refrigerator, put it on you. How many people remember Noxtema? <gasps> that was nice on your skin, right? Mm. And one more thing that I love, believe it or not, is this blast spray. I'll put it in the comments so you can see what it is. That gives you instant relief. Go buy that if you're sunburned, and at least in Puerto Rico, the drugstores have all the after sun care that you need because we know that our sun is beautiful, but it can be very, very damaging. I hope that helps. Leave me your comments on how you do after sun care, your, you know, what, what do you do to protect yourself from the sun, and uh, when did you learn that you had to do it? or it would have really bad consequences. And don't forget to subscribe. See you later.